more relevant to say that in a video like this. Back with another lightsaber review. This is Super Neox's Neo Pixel Blade Darth Maul lightsaber. And look at this box. Even looking at this box, you guys can see this is probably one of the nicest boxes I've ever seen. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything about the world's best hilt. This is a one-to-one -one scale replica lightsaber of Darth Maul's lightsaber we see in The Phantom Menace. Super Neox have done a great job in producing this saber. It includes a 50 watt neopixel blade, an aluminium hilt, two charging leads, a number of little accessories including the allen key and screws, and also some removable pieces, and of course those iconic details you find on Darth Maul's lightsaber. We can see here you've got those circular top pieces with the supports and those iconic red and grey buttons. Within the box I also received a display stand which you can use to display this lightsaber hilt. Displaying a lightsaber in your room is going to add a lot of compliments. I have got a lot of compliments just from adding a lightsaber on display. The hilt is actually one kilo in weight so relatively heavy for most lightsabers and it includes a variety of different buttons that we find on the lightsaber of Darth Maul. So we're going to be doing a bit of a test on the saber, see some of the cool functions it has. I'm going to do a bit of a dueling spin and show you it at night time because that is the best way to look at a lightsaber at night. I'll catch you guys. I need my nether portal again. It's night time, of course. I'm going to show you guys a bit of how bright this lightsaber is and the different colors, what they look like. Because when you're dueling, you're going to want to duel in the dark. So. Let's go into this video. Whoa, Kenobi, Darth Maul. This is the epitome of lightsabers, guys. And it is so bright, you can probably tell. Look at that thing. If I go backwards, you can probably see. Wow. Wow. So that is the dark saber. Very nice. It's white, so very, very, very bright. I could probably go for a walk in this forest. There's actually a creek next to me. Sorry for the noise. I could probably go for a walk here and just use this lightsaber as a guide almost. Oh. Yes. Guys, how sick is this? Classic blue lightsaber. So bright. So I actually asked Vader to rent out Endor for a day and he said it was cool. We're gonna be just having a look at some of the functions. If we wanna change the sound font, we simply press the bottom buttons. So let's go through some of them. What? Whoa, yeah, that is what you wanna hear on a Darth Maul lightsaber. That Kenobi sound effect that we hear. Oh, you know what? Master Windu has one of the coolest color lightsabers in Star Wars, and they looks good on any lightsaber, even Darth Maul, who's a Sith. Of course, we have smooth swing as well. So if you do a bit of spinning, you can hear that smooth swing. It just sounds so good. So what is really cool is you can ignite them at different times and retract them at different times. If you look at Phantom Menace, um, Darth Maul actually does, when he does this, ignite them at different times. Really amazing touch to have. So that is Master Yoda with a green colorway. Honestly, this hilt matches any color. I think it looks great in any of them. Uh, Super Neox, you guys are topping this in every way. I I'm actually blown away by this lightsaber. This is the Inquisitor sound font. I'm this this looks amazing guys. So obviously yes the Inquisitor's got that yellow color and you can hear all the cut sound actually comes out of this bottom piece here. I am told it is the dark saber. If you guys can hear that up close. Wow! Dark Saber is the coolest sound I think in Star Wars. You cannot go wrong with having that on the lightsaber. Great range of sound fonts on this lightsaber, 27 to be exact. Any of your favorites, it'll be on here. Master Mundi. Mundi. That is so cool. These colors are bright as, and they look great. 
even in the daytime like I am now, this is around midday and I'm recording outside and you can see that you could probably take this outside and this lightsaber would still be so bright. Well, that is fitting for a Darth Maul saber. This is the General Kenobi color. Amazing. You can tell this, this is making, it'll make anyone happy. You guys, oh, you got to get a lightsaber. So we've gone through some of the colors. Now let's go through some of the ignition styles on this lightsaber. And yeah, there's a bunch of them as well. I'm going to show you guys my personal favorites. Rainbow. Rainbow? Okay, I think. <laughs> this looks sick. Okay, that actually looks really cool. Yeah, that's unique as. Wave? That looks quite good. Um, it When you watch like actual lightsabers, they don't really stay like still. They do pulsate a bit. So having those type of options are really cool. You know what this looks like? So this looks like there's something inside moving around. So I've never seen that in any lightsaber before. So, wow. Blade 2. Blade 2. Interesting. I like the fact that they provide you with a lot of options. Not everyone's going to like each one because they're quite unique. I think it's good to have the option there. Like, adds to having a great overall lightsaber, which you can do a lot with. So, I think that's what's amazing about having all these ignitions and different colors and sound fonts. Blade 3. So this is more of the fire I was talking about. The fact that you have like a bit of pulsating and vibration on the blade. It looks very, very clean, looks very cool. Green looks really good on this lightsaber, but as you can see, yeah, the fire sort of color on Blade 3, this is really, really bright, very nice. Oh, it's like another popsicle, like it uh, looks like a bit like one of those ice creams. But no, that is that is cool. I like this one too. And we are back to stable. Another fine addition to my collection. Check this out. Two lightsabers from the one. And this looks crazy cool. You can see they're identical. And when you put them together, you get that iconic Darth Maul lightsaber. But even looking at them individually, they look so clean. So these hilts are also the weather design. When you get them off Super Neox, you can choose between the classic silver and a weathered version. I honestly wanted to go with the weathered version just to show you guys that you can have a bit of unique style to the lightsaber. A lot of the ones I own are just the classic silver. So I wanted to go with something a bit different and to show you guys that when you get one of the most realistic hilts on the market, you get a design that is clean, yet you can feel like you're generally holding something that is real like i feel these are like props i feel like these could have been in the film and i wouldn't be able to tell when i received this amazing quality hilt i also got a display stand because i feel like when you buy this you're gonna want to display this 100 percent this hilt by far is one of the best on the market quality craftsmanship and durability of this especially the one-to-one -one scale replica that you get to dark Maul's lightsaber is gonna want to make you display this and the compliments you will get in your bedroom these ones alone have gotten me some amazing compliments from people over but having this on display it looks even better trust me guys and when it's connected oh my gosh <laughs> I sound too happy but it's not often you get a really nice hilt and just for comparison this lightsaber cost me $15 and this one is around the $700 range depending if you get a neopixel but if you look at the quality between them this is just like a simple polycarbonate bit of plastic and this is an aluminium hilt you've got a nice tough blade and of course all those iconic details if you want to check out super neox the link is in the description below as always i appreciate you watching uh, if you want to sub then the sub button is somewhere on the screen i don't know where i'm going to put it um, and also stay tuned for more content as always see you in the next one